I boys here we are again for my first video since I plan to become a Honkai Star Rail Creator once that game comes out because I like the gacha it is the gacha we're gonna be reviewing some of these videos we got the reveal trailer another trailer and then the closed beta trailer I'm gonna be watching them reacting to them essentially reviewing them telling you my opinion and hopefully seeing how much I like it you know how it is. Alright, let's start this one. Got the star theme, looking nice. The stellar in my body. I don't know what the stellar on thing is, but it's looking interesting. Try to catch the stars. <laughs> Cute girl, always nice. Nice snow in there. Good Many events. millennia have passed. Ooh. Is this? Wait, you're really I do like this building design, you know. I was got the broken building flowing in the air, especially in the broken world. Kind of makes sense. Looks nice. Also, very intriguing. You know, random places with floating buildings and weird magic stuff. Always very interesting. As long as that's a good reason. Unless they just do it for no reason. Seen the track record. They won't, so it'll be good. This what your Relo 6 has become? Mihoyo really likes their crystals, you know. A lots of crystals in Genshin Impact, crystal like areas and the entire Geo stuff. And then you have big crystal thing here. Although this is very different to Genshin because it's much more sci fi. Like giant fly thing in the background. Good world design, it's looking nice. A lot more modern. Ooh, slums. Interesting. Looking more dystopian. I don't know if they're gonna take the dystopian vibe, but that'd be kinda cool. It'd be very different to the undystopian world of Genshin where everything is positive. I mean, I guess in the zoom is kinda negative. I also haven't gone that far. But, you know, this is proper negative, like dystopian. Or it could just be poor, I guess. Well then, are you ready for your first trailblazing expedition since joining the crew? As you know, them husband material. This guy looks like he could be the generic starter character. I think she's in one of the other trailers at the camera girl. And this is generic husband cute guy. You know, he's got the Chinese kind of aesthetic. I'm not racist. Well, you know, he looks handsome. He got earring as well. Oh, she also has an earring and a bow tie. Let's get going. It's funny how they like made the full models sphere. They got effects and everything. Like they could just make this game like Genshin Impact, but then after putting in all the effort, they decided to make it turn based. It's kind of weird, but it's interesting. Like, look at this part. It's probably like a stealth section or something, but this could 100% just be an area in Genshin Impact. You just walk around the corner, you just get busted by these guys, and they're like the strong enemies, like some of the Fatui guys. You know, sad stuff. This guy, I like this design. I don't know why, but I like this design. <laughs> I know just a monster vibe is kind of cool. Glasses guy. Ah, uh, classic tiny character. Is it a girl? Or a girl? The chest the same. Although the things don't pop out yet. One of them is carrying a seed of ruin, which will bring it back on. Nice. Again, who is this expedition? Okay, so he might not be the generic main character like we have with Aether and Lumine. He might be an actual character. I apologize if anyone likes him, I didn't know. was cool and so was the monster also it's like how they decided not to reuse any of the design because they easily could have reused the design like a hilly curl or with like a gun but they went full out making completely new designs because i don't i don't think i've seen anything like it again it's a very different i like it put in a lot of effort if 
this guy's a playable character. I want to play him. I feel like he's a boss, but damn, I like mechs too much. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. swords guy either you know he's an ally or he's Aizen I like Aizen more than him being an ally so I hope he's the big bad guy ah uh, nah I feel like he's a playable character overall game looks prompting definitely humans decent. never conceal their desire to control the heavens see I like this high fantasy kind of thing you know conceal the desire to control the heavens that means we're gonna get big busted OP powers or at least really cool cutscenes, because obviously, in game they can't be actually. They might be able to go more over the top with the special moves because you don't actually have to lift and get the gameplay. Because in Bleach Brave Souls, they obviously scaled up and they kept on like, bigger, big explosion stuff, so it warped the gameplay. Here, no matter how big and over the top they go, it'll never warp the gameplay. So technically, they could have a mini cutscene that's like a super move that displays their true power, like the NPCs, or uh, no, the PCs. I don't even know what you call it, in Genshin where they're like super OP until you play them here they can be super OP even when you're playing them because it won't be limited by this can be something you can do in gameplay like Ningguang in that scene where she just summoned like 50 of them and shut them down here they'll actually be able to do that during gameplay potentially or they could nerf them again that might be their choice you know like big super move like Final Fantasy style you know so why would I? I'm not saying it's gonna copy Final Fantasy I'm just saying Final Fantasy has a big super moves I also could be wrong and be talking about a different franchise but those kind of games with like big super moves that are like some of the stars and shit you know sand shit that's so interesting that's another video is cool Hoyoverse they're cool oh so that's what the character is they're using as date material Definitely gonna be wifey and a lot of people in simple. Nice space train. Cool design. Probably gonna be really fast. Hopefully it's important to the plot. Or they just wanted a cool train, I guess. I wish I signed it to the closed beta, otherwise I would actually have content to make rather than doing this trailer. Cause I would be playing the game. They probably wouldn't have chosen me, but if they did <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's the end. Yep, okay. On to the next trailer. Which is the let's take a photo one of the girl in the picture down here her trailer probably gonna have less to say on this one content is available now Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna take pictures of everything that's new to me that way I won't forget about you know when I first saw her cause of the camera and the let's take a photo I really thought she was gonna be like an event character or like a one-time limited character or like a side character that's not part of the main cast but seeing the fact that she's on the game cover <laughs> and she has her own trailer before the game I feel like she might be important or at least in the story and then yeah but like her design I just like especially the people have seen I really thought she was gonna be like a limited time character or just a design she doesn't really seem like a main character especially with the photo vibe that seems like a side character design no offense about them. Uh, uh, hey, wait for me! <laughs> Ooh, huh? Hmm. Huh? Pom -pom. I do bop with this music though. This music is good. Gonna love this! <laughs> hey, over there! And see, this is the part where it hit me. I'm like, oh, you know, I thought she was just a cute event character going to show up, take some pictures, going to be fun. And then this happened. <laughs> it's like, oh, sh she going to have a dark backstory and be like a main character kind of, and she's going to be like actually important. She might not be important to the main plot, like Genshin characters where they have this at Limelight, but then you still focus on Aether and Lumine. But. Her having this is still a lot more than I was expecting. To be fair, I should have extended more from Ngohoyo. Because they're very good at that. Just giving every character a decent backstory and stuff. But still, you know, is good. Uh. <laughs> you 
guys. Came for the snapshot, huh? But if you could see my head, I'm literally just bopping my head. You can't see it, but trust me, I'm bopping my head. Camera? Well, here's your chance to learn from the side. I got distracted as well by the things. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's cute. And then she did that. That was nice. Very cute trip. I didn't make a full screen this time. Why didn't I do that? Too late now. <laughs> but still, it's a nice trailer. Definitely you're going to get people rolling for Unless she's a free character. In which case, it's just encouragement to play games. Like, if you play the game, you will get her. I don't normally like arch characters, but she's nice. I feel like, I hope she's usable. Cryo is very good normally. I wonder how Cryo's gonna work. Is it gonna freeze him for like a certain number of turns or something? I don't know. But I like the AoEs. Not really a fan of the whole taking picture thing. It's not really a me thing, but I understand if you like it. And now for the latest trailer, which came out. Which came out, or when was April? <laughs> oh. Like a week and a half ago. <laughs> she. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. This, this is cool. The sword, the hot woman, do you know? Maybe not wifey vibes, cause I know she looks like a villain, but you know. But that that mech though, I like I like Max. Was not expecting that. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is just one of those scenes that's like you can tell like she's a playable character and these aren't like I don't think either of those two are you can tell she's probably a playable character or an important NPC. Like these people aren't. Especially these these guards, you know. Same thing here. Side characters, side characters, character. That that's a character. I really hope you can see my mouse. I like sides, so that's cool. So the side of the boxing is off. Awesome. Oh yeah, I heard some people talking about the uh, game design, about side areas. Probably not going to be as interesting as Genshin side areas because it's not an open world game. But even being like a turn based game, it's still going to be interesting delving in these areas. You know, random encounters, maybe a mini boss and getting loot and coming back. I don't know how interconnected they're going to be, it's like these are alternate paths, so it's like you go up there, get the thing, come back. Maybe. And then these, yeah, I'm not sure if this game is going to have random encounters, or it's going to be like the newer Pokemon games, where you need to walk into the enemy, so you can just walk around them all, I don't know. Again, cute girl. I don't know what this thing is, but I like it. <laughs> to be fair, it might be the gold and white aesthetic, but I want to know more about this. Because I feel like it's not so opaque, but like, what is it made out of? Why is this like, is this normal? Or is it feel like it's summer normal? Like, what's up? Nice. A nice character. You know. Alchemist. Tall. Big. Mommy vibe. Anyway. She looks like a nice character, alchemist, you know, using potions. 
whatever this is straps that's a giant paper clip <laughs> that's funny but yeah maybe poison debuff and then this guy he also looks like flavor character I don't know what is that like a hammer or a backpack probably a backpack but I like it he wifey and this thing looks a lot more interesting now big white summoning color I think this is the guy from earlier using a halberd mini sword I'm using a sword earlier I might just be stupid. See, they're showing off a lot of characters, but does that mean we're gonna start off with a bunch of free characters or a bunch of these characters gonna be in a standard banner? Otherwise, there's gonna be a bunch of characters in the game that we just can't summon for a while. Too fair, I think it was like that Genshin as well, but you know what I mean. Reach the end of the story of in your own way. I hope there's more free to play characters in Genshin. Is that a girl? More characters, also guns, hammers, lots of different weapon types they're looking for. And now, the question do we get to equip weapons? Or is it gonna be. It will be able to equip weapons to our characters like in Genshin, or is it just gonna be other characters? I'm probably. Look. Get up. Okay, I was gonna say they probably should have ended it after like doing the specials because that's just a hype way to end it. But that ending with the story stuff and what she said. These people know marketing. A lot better than I do. I clearly don't know how to do marketing. I'm gonna be surprised if anyone watches this video. Hopefully you watch. Hey, look at this. He looks cool, looks evil. She looks like Signora, big evil. I can't even see her. This character reminds me of Rosaria. He's good. Also, that is the main character because there's a male and female version. Wait, so technically I was right. Wait, they're using a baseball bat. <laughs> I really hope they get a sword. Mainly because I like swords. But yeah, that's the main character. So we are going to have an Aether and Lumine. And then one of these two. And then everyone else. Definitely summoning for her if she's a character. And you saw that Alchemist smile. Overall, what do I think? The game looks solid. It's got many areas. It's got interesting characters. So lots of ways to waste my money. And I don't really have much to say. I'm new to turn-based games, but I dig them. This game looks fun. The animations are gonna be like a triple-A game. And for a gacha game, that's always a win, you know. Looking like the new Final Fantasy or whatever turn based scenes come out, looking like the actually, probably won't look it up, you know. I think Final Fantasy is a good comparison, you know. Looking like the newest Final Fantasies, the big animations, big budgets, nice areas, cool super animations, you know, that's all here clearly. And you know, got the wifey's as bandos. Hopefully, it's got a gameplay loop, it's got an end game, it's got something to grind. Hopefully, has a resin, a better resin system. Well, like something like that and just a reason to come back and also you know when this game drops they won't be doing that oh we just started the game time to get some free stuff and just start giving people stuff to get everyone playing the game so the smartest thing to do for you is when they start doing that start playing the game they probably don't want you re-rolling you probably will but you shouldn't or you should I would say well on the game but I don't even have money to do that myself so, go for the characters you want, hopefully you get them, and we all look forward to when the game is out. When it comes out, I'll be giving you content, mainly me playing the game and telling you my opinions and stuff, and doing stuff. If I figure out I can do guides because I've learned enough, I will do that, and yeah, we will see. 
I wish you all luck on your future summons. And that is all for me. Signing out. I'm Creed, and that's all, folks. Da 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 da. Bang.